I've been wanting to make mead for years now, since I found out that it was a thing. Um, I've just never really gotten around to it. Uh, until today, my first mead, and it's going to be Manuka mead. Um, if you don't know what Manuka honey is, uh, it's pretty interesting, worth the research. Um, it's from the tea tree plant. You know, is it the tea tree or is it the tea tree plant? Anyways, interesting uh, to research. The government got involved, regulated it, made it all stupid. And uh, uh, there's something called Manuka Wars, which leads me to believe that men have died over this honey. Um, I don't know. I, I didn't look too far into Manuka Wars. But anyways, uh, most people, I think they don't eat it for fun they take it for medicinal purposes. I guess it's like got some really good gut health properties and things like that. And that's why it's so expensive. But I've been told that it doesn't taste great. Um, so I've never tried it. I was thinking it would be fun to make meat out of it since it's so expensive and doesn't taste good. Um, So it looks kind of like normal honey, but I don't know, yellower. Uh, I made sure, oh, tastes minty. Uh, I made sure to get the one that says uh, raw and monofloral. So it's, I don't know how you make honey from just one flower, but uh that is what this is. So this should be 100% Manuka honey. Ah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that tastes a little like cough syrup. It's, it's good, though. Like, like if, uh, if you had, like, some honey-flavored cough syrup, it's not bad. It's not bad. That might actually make some decent mead. All right, let's do it. Oh. oh, that does not smell very good. It smells all menthol-y. It smells like, uh, it smells like it could clear my sinuses if I was sick. All right, there it is.
It's potential gravity or potential alcohol of about uh, 13% close to a little more water. We're going to go for 10, 10 to 11 range. One point zero eight, nailed it. I go with the the lower end of the recommended dosage for this stuff now, and uh, I would suggest trying it. You should try just a spoonful of this to see what it tastes like. Recommend. There it is. I'm worried that uh, with uh, like all of the antimicrobial properties of manuka honey and tea tree plant, like oil and stuff, I'm worried that uh, maybe the yeast just won't do anything. Uh, it'd be interesting to see. Uh, I, well, I'm using 1118 because I have it. It's what's in my cupboard, and uh, because everybody says really nice things about how it's unstoppable. So, um, I figure if anybody can do it, it's these guys right here. Alright, I'll keep you posted. Manuka Mead, it has been 11 days. We still got almost nothing going on now. I'm going to check it. One point zero three five, maybe Three six. We'll go with three six. One point zero three six. So the current gravity is one point zero zero nine. I'll be damned. It went out dry. So I'm going to for now. I'm going to put this into a carboy. I'm, that'll get rid of a lot of this head space. And, uh, and it'll make it clear so we can see what's happening in there. And uh, if it needs to be cleared, or we'll give it some time. We'll give it some time and just let it hang out in secondary for a little while. I'm not going to do anything else to this. It's just going to be a, a traditional mead. Well, Manuka mead. Uh, so here we go. We're going to rack it out into this guy.
Look at that. That looks good. That looks really good. It's uh, like a weird pastel orange. I wonder if that's going to clear up on its own. I, I'm kind of doubtful. I wonder what would even happen if I try to clear it. That would be cool if that's just how it looked. I guess we'll find out. Setting that aside. Whoa, that will go up here. I'm just going to leave that up there and forget about it for a little while. Uh, in the meantime, I've got all this. Uh, it's got to get drank. So I guess we'll take a, uh, a proper little uh, preliminary taste test. I got about a quart left over of Manuka Mead. We're going to, uh, I'm going to try it. My first ever mead. <laughs> I'll tell you right away, it does not smell that good. It smells uh, a little bit like a, like a cough drop. Yep. Tastes like one too. I can't believe how much that tastes like a, uh, like a Halls, like the square, the square cough drops. <laughs> it tastes exactly like that. Yeah, nothing else. I don't taste any alcohol. I don't even taste. No, I don't even taste the, uh, I don't taste the yeasty like a young wine. I don't taste that. I don't taste, uh, usually there's like something strong or something, uh, like it punishes you for drinking it so soon. That's not happening. This tastes just like, like my mouth now, it's been like 10 se seconds since I took a sip. It feels just like I just ate a Halls. That's exactly what it feels like. menthol -y feeling inside my mouth. Um, so that's really fascinating. I, I actually, something that just hit me, I can't wait to see how this ages. Because if it doesn't taste young now, and it's not even done in secondary, like what, how's it gonna age? I, I can't even, I can't even begin to predict that right now. I'd be really interested to find out. This does not taste bad, I'll say that. I can drink this. I, it doesn't taste bad at all. I could drink this all night. It's definitely, so two things. This is going to go on the list of wines that don't suck. And the second thing, um, I can understand why it's not a thing. I can't understand why nobody, I don't think anybody's ever made Manuka Mead before that I know of. Um, it's probably the most expensive wine I've ever made at like almost $30 a pound for the honey. And I wonder, since Manuka honey is supposed to have all of these exaggerated gut health benefits and things like that, I wonder if this wine now has those same benefits. Uh, 
really interesting. Um, I'm so what I'm going to do next is I'm probably going to let that sit up there for a month, like I said, and then I'm going to uh, bottle it. I won't film that. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to put it in bottles, put it on my shelf, and then I'm going to uh, uh, set an alarm for a year, a year from the bottling day. And I'm no, we'll do a year from today. I'll do a year, a year from right now, uh, and then we'll do. Um, a one-year taste test on it and I'm really excited about that actually I I mean I'm gonna sip on it between now and then too I like this is a wine that I will drink I won't make it in bulk I'm not gonna make a three gallon batch or anything like that though <laughs> I, I couldn't even afford it <laughs> but I <laughs> I am excited for the one-year taste test if this blows my mind in a year that's something that could happen and if it does happen um, yeah, maybe I'll get five gallons of it going or something. <laughs> Thanks for watching.